Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing a graphics tutorial, and this is my first ever graphics tutorial, so if you do enjoy these videos, please um, give it a like and comment down below. So yeah, let's get started. Um, first thing you want to do is open up Cinema 4D, and go to File, go to Open, then you want to go and double click the Evolution Rig. Once you've done that, shall power up like this, double click the Evolution Rig here. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Just a little sneeze and stuff like that. I don't know. A little bit of uh, flu. Yeah, so yeah. Um, next, uh, after that, is you want to... Do you see all these stuff? Here? Let's start with the hat. Um, once you click on this, it's like a hat thing. Um, let's go to extras and armors. There you go. So yeah, let's get started with headphones. So I'm actually trying to do this pretty fast. So yeah. Um, because <clears throat> I made a video yesterday and... Uh, I, it was uh, about the evolution rig, and then it turned out to be a 480p video, and I asked it to render at uh, 1080, but on, on Sony Vegas, but for some reason it went on 480, so yeah, uh, we're gonna just do, uh, I'm redoing this video, so yeah, and hopefully this goes 1080p, so yeah, um, next you wanna do is you wanna, let's hit on headphones for now, and yeah, you can change the color of this headphones if I, yeah, go to display color, um, then you can change the color, hit OK, what, what, and you go to extras and armor, and then, I don't really know how you change the color, but yeah, um, glasses, hat front, um, cowboy hat, uh, sunglasses, top hat, and uh, hat back. So yeah, uh, that's that, and um, let's scroll down to where it says cape and uh, put the cape on. This is a Minecon 212 cape. You could put your own cape uh, on the browse button. So yeah, um, you wanna hit the rotation tool to move the cape up. So yeah, you wanna hit on this uh, thing line there, and then that's the head. This one there, and yeah, see, and you can play around with the cape. So we're gonna make it like that, and yep. Yeah, so that's that and then let's go back to this no oh here okay so hit on this again okay so next what we got is we have a name tag and when you put that on it shall come up like this then you just have to put your name in it and let's just name it iota okay shall pop up like that <coughs> oh i do apologize for that again guys uh okay let's on that um and then let's go to yeah, and you can make the size of the box um, longer, like, I'm not really longer, but, like, wider and stuff. So, I'm just going to keep, uh, to turn off the name tag. Okay, and next we got a helmet on the, um, this, uh, you could, uh, put the helmet on and change the color over here. Let's make it red. There you go. And then enchant it. And there you go. You got, uh, this nice, like, leather armor, uh, red dyed, and then it's enchanted. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can also have a chest plate enchanted. And yeah, see, it's really nice. It's really nice. And yeah, so uh, we're pretty much done with this side. And let's go now to the eyebrows. Um, so what you do when you're at the eyebrows is there's all these stuff. Position your eyebrows is like how high you want it. Um, where you position, where you want to position it. Um. And yeah, so next is separate. So how how like much you want them separated? Uh, width is um like I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what it does, but yeah, uh, you can play around with that and try to see. Uh, thickness is to make your eyebrows thicker. Um, yeah, see that it's a little bit more thicker. And yeah, so. <coughs> Let's go break down and next is we have these that is like to bend your eyebrows. I usually make them at 37 to make it mad. So you could also use this these settings here. Um yeah, just put that to 37, 37, oh, 38, 37, no, 37. Yep, there you go. And next is we hit on this one, and this is your eye control. Oh, sorry, you guys, for my cough, but yeah. Um, now you can uh, make your eyes here on everything. I will be teaching you all of these stuff later on. But for now, you can control your eyes and stuff like that. 
so that's pretty cool you can also position where you want it so yeah um people jerp is to how far you want it away um people type i'll teach you about that later <laughs> And yeah, mouth control. So let's go here, and um, you could have a tongue, and I'll teach you that later. Teeth spacing, I don't usually enable, so disable that. Okay, so you know, you can make your mouth more open, more uh, expression, make him smile, and position it wherever you want. Um, so yeah, and let's now go to evolution right here. You could also change the color of your teeth, your tongue, your inside mouth, and everything, uh, your pupils. So yeah, you could change the colors of that. Um, and then you can have second layers of your stuff. Um, right hand, you can have a sword, um, diamond sword on enchant it, or if you want a different sword, then just keep hitting on this. Then you can have iron sword, as you can see over here, enchant it to that. Um, then we have wood, uh, stone sword, and then enchant that, and then wood sword, and enchant that. So yeah, um, the first one is a gold sword, so sword, and yeah, check that. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it with a diamond sword and just gonna check that. Okay, so next is we got. Uh, let's go to this side here. There we go. And they have on on like the tools. Um, why well, uh, they have um sword, axe, pickaxe, shovel, hoe, bow, and fishing rod. Oh, sorry, I do apologize for that again. And you're just gonna put in the fishing rod, and there you go. So that fishing rod is like already pulled, and this one has not been pulled yet. So yeah, um, you know you can just adjust this a little further out if you want. But yeah, that. And mm -hmm. yeah, so next you want to is like, like how you technically make your render and stuff so how you move the arms and stuff it's really easy and yeah how you do that is you just hit on the um, little rectangle here on the arm and then hit that and then it shall come up like this green is to bend and then red is to where you want your hands like that so yeah um if you have experience with some other rigs then you shall know what i'm talking about so yeah next is we got the uh, sword so yeah uh, bend that there and yeah, just play around with that same thing and yeah i'm sorry if you hear any background noises because you know i'm recording this at day usually i record it at night because my family members are pretty loud so yeah um because i have cousins over and such so yeah um let's now do the feed same thing on the rectangle then push it up then i usually make this kind of pose and then to just Put on this one again and bend it for a running pose and yeah it should look pretty cool and yeah how you move the head is you have a rotation tool you hit on the head little rectangle things again you have it like this then you could push it wherever you want push it up like that and yeah it should look nice <laughs> and yeah so next is the skin how you put the skin in uh where you says skin go to browse button once you're at the browse button um, you need skin converter, it only works for 1.8 skin, so what you can do is go to skin converter, and yeah, I shouldn't have double click on that because that is not the skin, but yeah, um, let's go back, uh, yeah, see if you put on normal skin, it looks like that, and it's pretty much screwed up, so go to skin converter, add the skin, this one, and then it shall come up like this, and you shall have it like that, um, yeah, well, I don't really have the skin anymore. I changed my skin to this. So, yeah, why did I do that? Okay, let's just rotate him back. No, rotate you back. Okay. Um, next is we, let's, uh, you see my eyes look weird then. You know, all you have to do is just disable all of this. Um, and yeah, you should have all your nice stuff. So, if it looks a little bit weird, as you can tell here, is because yeah you want to um and you want to do is you want to put the left eye and right eye back and this is showing you guys how to use the pupil derp so what you want to do is you want to hit on the second one again and then you want to go to pupil type uh, as i told you i'll teach that later and that's this is what i'm teaching you so put that to one make it very small then put your uh put your bottom lid all the way down and then you want to make your pupil right size 100%, same with the left si uh, side. 
and then um, I just push it down all the way down until we uh, push that right there and yeah it, it, it looks weird in my skin as I said because my skin has a little bit more eyes right there so you yeah, pre-render that looks pretty weird so yeah but if you don't have that with your skin you shall be set for a double eye and yeah so it's this <coughs> Uh, disable that and I'm sorry for my cough again <coughs> so yeah I'm actually going to apologize for that um, but yeah I'm trying my best to try to get this recording again for you guys and I'm sorry if I don't record a lot because of this fact that I have family members and they're pretty loud and yeah so next is we have this uh, how to move your hand out just click on this square is here with red stuff and then you hit on that and then push it no this is Let's not tell you do it. Um, hit on that here, here, yeah, there you go, and then push it front. Wait, how do I? There you go. Oh my god, this is so weird. Yeah, but control Z. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, there we go. See, yeah, and you can have your fingers out like that. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, now let's move on to another feature with the mouth. Um, now let's go back and enable math. So yeah, let's go do that really quick. Nice. And then uh, what you need to do is you want for this feature is you want to hit on the mouth, uh, mouth button and then you want to push down this circle thing all the way down. No, you that's the opposite. You push the upper mouth to the upper circle so yeah do that like that and you have a nice little effect then you have this top button like uh, this top circle push it down and then yeah you should come up like that and yeah so that's really all I have to say and yeah uh, uh, there's people here so yeah I'm very glad that's for background noise and yeah that, yes that's all I have to say for this video and yeah how you use this rig and yeah i know i'm rushing i know i'm talking weird but yeah my whole family is noisy so yeah um yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to leave a like comment rate, and subscribe and comment down if you have any questions below and i'll see you guys on the next video peace